The Nintendo Switch is a very power hungry device when it's connected to its dock, outputting 1080p video to the uh, external monitor. And I believe this basis 65 watts USB C GAN charger, GN, like gallium nitride charger, is the best alternative to its original charger, which I cannot use due to its uh, different uh, plug type because it is uh, from UK. And I tested the Anchor One and uh, many other brands, as you guys uh, know, that I have tested a lot of chargers. These are not good for the Nintendo Switch for, um, for unknown reasons. Uh, let me show you. As you can see, it is currently connected to this charger from Basis, and the power consumption is only at around 6 watts when it's idling. I'm going to disconnect from this charger. And you will see the anchor one, which is rated at 120 watts, is unable to power the Nintendo Switch um, for its uh, dock or HDMI output connection. For those of you who are not familiar with Nintendo Switch, it will not be able to um, connect to the external monitor or TV without a sufficient power supply. Here we go. As you can see, it is fully charged. I dock it in. I expect it would connect to the TV, but there's no output. And sometimes it will just display an error message on the screen that says, uh, the, use the original charger to power it up. And this, the original charger is rated at 15 volts, six, uh, 2.6 amps, which is 39 watts max, or five volts at 1.5 amp, 7.5 watts. So I cannot use this one, USB-C port. I'm using a 100 watts rated a cable. And the anchor one right here is not outputting enough power. Uh, although the voltage is at 15, uh, point, 15 volts. It's only uh, outputting 0.2 yeah, it's less than one, one watt, right? So it's it's not gonna do anything. I tried all the ports. It will charge the laptop pretty fast though. But for some reason, I've tested like 80% of the chargers. They are not working for Nintendo Switch at all. And this is the only one that would work at, at this uh, size. The basis 100 watts also works, but it is bigger. The reason for this kind of design is that it will not take a lot of space in the power strip. Now let's try this again. If I connect it to the Nintendo Switch, uh, this is a power meter so we can see its power consumption just to verify. Although we do have a, a kilowatt meter there and uh, same testing condition, right? I'm going to use the external remote. As you can see, it easily output the HDMI signal. And this dock has the AC adapter input, which is a USB-C port, the HDMI output. That's the current setup. So yeah, I just wanna really um, point out um, the power requirement of this Nintendo Switch is very different. I have no idea why, but uh, this is the one to get. If you are shopping for an um, alternatives, um, you know, charger for Nintendo Switch, there is additional USB-C port and a USB Type-A port to charge three devices at the same time. And this thing is really designed for charging laptops because this single USB-C port would be able to output 65 watts of um, power. And the Anchor one also has the 65 watts equivalent, but it is not good, unfortunately, for Nintendo Switch. Although it also has the two USB-C port and this one is actually rated for 100 watts. It's more powerful than this one in terms of uh, charging laptop, which is also significantly bigger. Uh, the 100 watts basis in this form factor can also power the Nintendo Switch without any problem. As we disconnect, as you can see, the um, HDMI output is gonna be disabled now. 
Okay, my remote also got disabled. If you got this um, Apple charger, it also it it will also work. The Apple charger does a good job as well, but it is uh, also bigger and has less ports. This one has four ports, but it's bigger. So, as you can see, this is a much much better option. Again, we are looking at 15 volts, 8.4 watts. Just to verify, right? I'm gonna connect the Apple charger. So somehow it disconnects the wireless remote. Anyway, it works uh, fantastic, yeah. But uh, it's just uh, <laughs> too big. Usually I won't use the Apple original charger. This is a much better alternative. Again, I'm gonna use, the, I'm gonna try the Anchor one. I think this video could be uh, pretty helpful for those of you shopping for alternative chargers if you are in the same situation or if you lo lost your um, original Nintendo Switch charger. Well, not working at all. I'm gonna try two ports. So There's sound coming out from the Nintendo Switch from the game, but there is no HDMI signal, right? It's not working. Again, the power output is around 2.6 watts, and this is not a faulty charger. Still, it's a, it's a really good one. Um, it's, it's fully functioning, but just not for Nintendo Switch. USB-C one, okay. And it will be back. Pretty, uh, it's a pretty strange behavior, uh, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I've never seen anything like this, so I guess Nintendo Switch is just special. It's quite picky, and the power output is uh, rated at 15 wa volts, just as this one suggests. It may maximally, you know, pull 39 watts, so it can handle the full power consumption just fine. It's like uh, a bit over half of um, what it's rated for. So yeah, if you check at the side-by-side -side form factor, it's gonna be ideal for Nintendo Switch. It's actually, I think it's smaller and take, take less space. Uh, I, I, I can never use this one in US. So there you go. Um, hopefully that helps um, because yeah, in, <laughs> when I'm searching for external chargers for Nintendo Switch, this is the only thing that worked for me. Right, thanks for watching. Hope you find this review helpful.